Today I want to talk to you about the Golden Rule. Now, the Golden Rule quite simply says, do unto others the way you want them to do unto you. It's a universal rule that all societies, all cultures employ in one way or another, whether we employ it politically, whether we employ it religiously. We all believe that doing the right thing by each other is really the best way to live together in a society. Uh, whether we believe it's uh, you sow what you reap, uh, what goes around comes around in the Western world, in the Eastern world we call it karma. Uh, either way we look at it, interpret it, and describe it. All societies believe that doing good by other people is the best way to live amongst one another. Uh, perhaps you hold the door open for someone, you help an elderly person put their groceries away. Uh, someone needs your help, they call up, you go over and you do a good turn to them. The way we want people to treat us is the way we treat them. Now, this is what you have to understand about today's short lecture. Theoretically speaking, from theoretical ethical point of view, the golden rule is the best rule of fairness that anyone has ever come up with. We should do right by one another. We should seek to sow good things so that good things are produced by our actions. Once again, ethics is about actions and consequences. So if we do the right thing for the right reason, we believe that it will benefit not only ourselves and the people who we're trying to benefit, but that benefit will enlarge itself and everybody in society will receive a benefit from it. Now the problem with it is that when we try and apply the golden rule, we realize almost immediately that it has a shortcoming. Don't forget the rule says do to others the way you want them to do to you, the way you want them to treat you. So let's just say that I have a young mother, single mom, she's got a child, she's trying to go to school, get a good education so that she can get out of her eight dollar an hour job, produce enough wealth to take care of herself, her child, uh, perhaps give her child an education or some of the benefits of life, some of the better things in life. And in order to go to school, she needs two tires for her car because they're bald and they're very dangerous to be driving on. And someone comes up to her and says, well, listen, I have $100 and I would like to give this to you. Now, the rule says do to others the way you would want them to do to you. I mean, now I have excess money in my hand. It would be nice when I have a financial need if somebody would help me. But the rule says that I'm to be the initiator of the good deed. Do to others the way you want them to do to you. So here I see a mother in need. She needs $100 for two new tires. So I give her the $100 and I said, go get your two new tires. Now, while she's the initial recipient of the gift, that seems like a very good rule. She's the recipient. She's received the benefit of the golden rule. Do to others the way you want them to do to you. But let's say beyond her, behind her, I mean, is another woman with the same need, except just a little bit greater. She wants to go to school. She wants to better her life, be able to provide for her children. She also needs two new tires for a car, but she also needs two gallons of milk for her children. And so she taps the woman on the shoulder and she says, you know, I have the same need that you do, but even a greater need. I not only need two new tires so I can go to class and improve my education and my lot in life, but I need two gallons of milk for my children. Now the rule says, do to others the way you want them to do to you. Now she's just received the benefit. Someone has done to her, but the rule says, do to others the way you want others to do to you. Now let's just say you were reversed and the lady who has the greater need has the lesser need. She needs two new tires. Someone gave her the hundred dollars and she taps the lady in front of her on the shoulder and says, you know, I have the same need but even a greater need. I need two tires for my car but I also need two gallons of milk. The rule says do to others the way you would have them do to you. See, as long as we're the recipients of the benefit, the rule fits perfectly. We want it to fit perfectly. We want it to benefit us. Do to others the way you want others to do to you. Sow and you'll reap. What goes around will come around. Now, the shortcoming in the golden rule is that as long as you're the recipient, as long as you receive the benefit, the rule's working fine. But once you're the benefit, if someone shows up with an even greater need, what does the rule say? Do to others the way you want them to do to you. If the situation was reversed, and the lady who just got the benefit no longer has it, but the lady in front of her with the lesser need and she has the greater need, the rule says do to others the way you would have them do to you. So here's the shortcoming in the rule. When it comes to applying the rule, when it comes to applied ethics, what we really want the rule to do is benefit us. It's a great rule. We find no fault with the rule itself. In theory, the rule is the best principle of fairness we think we've ever developed as a human race do to others the way you want them to do to you. Once you become the recipient of the benefit, though, it does not take away your obligation to benefit people around you with even a greater need. Because if the situation was reversed, wouldn't you want someone to again benefit you? 
not just when you're the only one on the scene and someone benefits you and you go, wow, I can get the two tires in my car, go to school, continue with my education, hopefully improve my lot in life and that of my children. But now someone shows up who's got an even greater need. And the rule, if we're going to follow the rule consistently, requires that you do to others the way you wish they would do to you. In other words, if someone shows up with a greater need, you benefit them with the ability you have to take care of their need. So in theory, the golden rule is the best principle of fairness. But when it comes to application, to applying it, to applied ethics, what we really would like the rule to say is, I would really like to be the recipient of the benefit. Now, everybody would. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not selfish or self-centered. True needs are true needs, and people need to have their needs met. You can't always take care of your own needs. And so the golden rule encourages us to do to others the way we wish they would do to us. The shortcoming in the rule is when we apply it, when it becomes applied ethics, or how we apply the ethics of the golden rule. Because what we really want, again, is for the rule to say, if I get the benefit, the rule has worked for me. But if I have to turn around and give the benefit away, then I have no benefit. But I follow what the golden rule says, do to others the way you wish they would do to you.